Hi everyone, welcome back. Here we are, hunting down the rest of that convoy. Now, last time out, if you remember, we did a sneak attack on the uh, merchant convoy. And if I bring you this up, you can see we have sunk over 40 tons, 40,000 tons, beg your pardon, of merchant tonnage, which is fantastic. Uh, so we took out four of those ships in the convoy. Which is great. Two of them, two ships had already sunk prior to the engagement, which is awesome. Forty thousand tons is not a bad day's work. Quick status of where we are. Um, battery life is at thirty-seven percent. Fuel level is ninety percent. Ninety percent, ninety-nine percent hull integrity. Uh, we have five torpedoes left, and a number of. Um, do we have a deck gun on here. I just, it just tells us it's uh, in good shape. Yeah, we've got uh, a number of shells left for the dead gun as well. What we're currently doing is hunting down the rest of that convoy. Look, if you've got a good enough monitor and it's not too dark on YouTube, you can see there's one, two, three ships out there, four ships out there, and we've got another one here. So what we're going to try and do, if I just bring up the little mini-map, see we've got this guy inside we've got a couple there uh, I am trying to close on them as much as possible now because it's dark their visual range and their awareness is reduced significantly so I am trying to catch up with the, the rear of the main group as it were uh, before I announce my presence with uh, shells and some hot fishes so that is what we are uh, planning to do uh, one thing you will notice, the weather has improved. The clouds have now slowed down to a nice crawl. They're no longer zipping across the sky at a million miles an hour. And the, uh, the sea has also calmed somewhat. So it'll be a lot easier using the deck gun. Although you can see from the deck gun, it's pointing over there that uh, we didn't stow it very well, did we? Okay, that is the plan of action. Um, as I say, we've only got five torpedoes. And we got uh, a number of ships ahead. Um, so yeah, it may be first come, first serve. Once we do that, I think we're then going to head to this little port here. Heligoland. Heligoland? Heligoland? Uh, we're going to rearm, uh, refuel, and then we're going to head straight for Scapa Flow. That is the plan of action, should we survive long enough. Um, one thing to note... These ships we have sunk from the convoy do not appear to be um, adding to the total of tonnage for the Eastern British Coastal Waters mission, which is interesting. I'm not sure if it's because the convoy is somehow regarded as in a different status and doesn't get added to the um, missions, which I, I'd find a bit hard to believe it should do. Uh, either way, it doesn't appear to be adding to that mission, which is... Meh. It's probably a bug, but, you know, it is what it is, so we won't worry about it too much. Right, we'll press on. As I say, we're closing on this uh, this one over here. I may do some ID recognition on that ship, so we've got it in the, uh, in the computer before we engage and see if we can't identify some of these, uh, so I don't have to sit there for 20 minutes going, hmm, could be that one. Did you just hear something? No? Okay, I thought I heard like a splash, like a, you know, if we're getting fired upon. No? It's probably just a erroneous sound. Not going to worry. Okay, as I said, we're going to press on, and I will see you back in a few seconds. Welcome back everyone. As you can see, we are now closing on the rear of the convoy and we have this straggler over here. One thing 
I'm not happy with. It's got it. It looks like it's got. I need the uh, the big this. Yes. It looks well as though it's got a gun on the back. If you, you know, God, you can't see because we're bobbing up and down a little bit. But it's got a red deck gun which it didn't have previously. So for full disclosure, I've since the last episode I've saved the game, and then obviously this is a, a restart or a reload of the uh, the save game. As you can see, it's got a rear deck gun. Potentially, it's also got a front deck gun as well, which didn't have previously to the save. So that's a bit of a thing. So it looks like during the few days that the uh, it's been since I've uh, played this game, the uh, the British have outfitted their ships with some deck guns which is mighty unsporting of them and a bit uh, immersion breaking at the same time but there we are there she is unknown ship hang on which mean unknown ship turn it on auxiliary cruiser penguin is that what you reckon it is Yeah, you, know you might be right. You might be right. That's okay then. Right, let's turn that off. Let's see if we can do our easy, easy peasy one, two, three, Z. Uh, so we want to aim for about. Oh god, hang on. If we aim for about there, maybe about there. Yeah, we've kind of overshot a little bit, haven't we? What if we go down to medium speed? That's a little bit easier to manage. But what about slow speed, in fact? Not quite there. Medium speed. Uh, we should be able to do something. Right, so if we go for about... About there. Oh, bobbing up and down. is. Uh, haven't got my sea legs on today. Let's... Uh, loss! Right, number two is the electric torpedo. Uh, we might just see how that one gets on. If we can cripple her, we'll move on to the rest of them. I might just come down to half speed. Oh, we're, we're being strafed. Dive, dive, dive. She's hit. Uh, and now she's uh, like a wounded... Oh, I think that hit us, actually. 92%, yep. Damage stations. Dive! Heaven's sake. Okay, we, we took a bit of punishment from her then. Make sure everything's okay. Quick, quick check. Now that we're under. 74%. Uh, wow, she did get a really good strike on us. What is damaged? Full battery is 99%, but it's been repaired. Torpedo tubes are okay. Observation periscope. We cracked it. Damn it. Port diesel engine. Oh, she hit our engines. Oh, my half battery as well. But that's getting repaired as well. Yes, we should have fired and then immediately submerged. Uh, I was just trying to sit around and watch for the... Uh... Right, let's slow to half speed. Right. She's 
She's burning. Right, I might put another torpedo into her. Just to... Is she moving? It's difficult to tell. I think she is. Yeah, she is. Okay, I was just going to put a mark on, on the map to see if she moved, but she will be. Right, so, um, lock on. Let's just see what we can do with this torpedo. Uh, again, so if we go for something like that. Ah! Stupid thing. Stay there. Yeah, who would have thought they'd have refitted all these ships in a matter of days while at sea? That's quite quite the impressive feat. Uh, I'm a little bit worried that the damage to the hull, damage to the the batteries and the engines, will prevent us catching up with the rest of the. Uh... Oh my god, that's slow. I think that might. Oh, I might get there. Yeah, we might have to just um, finish this straggler off and then head for port for a refit and then head up to Scaffer Float. Go on, two torpedo hits. She's got to be ready to go to the bottom in there, hasn't she? Right, let's just have a quick look, see if we can see the rest of the convoy. Yes, there's some ships over there. Oh, she sunk. She is sunk. Hurrah. Right. Uh, I'm thinking now that she's sunk, those gun operators should probably have bailed out. Indeed, I think that's them in front of the crosshair. Right. Okay, so she's burning away. Uh, where is the rest of this fleet? They're over there. I say fleet, I mean convoy. Right. Let's quick check on the sub subsystems. Hull integrity 74%. Torpedo room's okay. That's okay. Four, so full batteries being repaired. Observation periscopes being repaired. Currently working on the port diesel engine. Motor room's okay. Okay, that's okay. It's off, it's just the uh, the diesel engine is having a few issues at the moment. Now, it's a couple of little rafts now. They've all bailed out. Oh, there's oh look, one, two, three, four, five rafts. Oh, and those guys are actually banging against the side of the hull. You probably want to get away from that because when that goes under gonna pull a lot down with it. Nice. Should we have a quick look at what that was? Oh wow that's gonna be about eight ton eight thousand tons that one. Seven thousand eight hundred and thirty two tons that's not bad. That's not bad at all. We'll happily take that. So we're nearing fifty thousand tons for this patrol which is pretty good. It's pretty good. We do need a little bit of repair work though. Right, let's concentrate on what's up ahead. Where are they? There they are. There's one there. And there's the rest of the convoy over there. Now, there's every chance that this convoy has got 
a ship or two with guns on it now. Uh, and we have three torpedoes and a deck gun. Now, if they're armed, I don't particularly want to go in with a deck gun in our current situation. Now, that has the save going. I think that's the smoke coming over. Yeah, it is. Okay. Um, where is it? That one did a, did a head there. That looks to be the large troop transport. Can I get on the uh, binox, please? Thank you. Where are you, baby? There you are. Let's have a look onto that one. It's very difficult to tell, but I think that is the... I think that is the troop transport. What do you think it is? You think it's a troop transport ship? So do I. Um, but it's it's something like that. Medium troop transport. Do you reckon? Near impossible to say, but we'll go with that one. Actually, she's in range. No, she's not. <laughs> she's nowhere near in range. I saw the three and I thought, oh, we can get her. No, we can't. Right, quick check on the engines, how they coming along. Starboard diesel engine has been repaired. Half batteries are repaired. Port diesel engine still currently being worked on. Come on, Willie. We need that working. Are the batteries recharging? 38%. Yes, they are. Fantastic. Right. We'll try and close the range and uh, join me back in a few seconds where hopefully we'll be preparing to fire on this troop ship. One last look. Yeah. They're probably going to bank into us as well, which is quite nice. And she's slightly removed from the, the other four. Um, so if they're armed... Hopefully we should be okay. We'll be far enough distance for them not to be able to hit us. Right, we'll press on and I'll see you back in a few. Welcome back everyone. Just over there you can see the ships. Now, I've been observing them. As you can see I'm just out of their visual range. This one is struggling. Look how low she is in the water. She might be one that we snagged last time and got away. She's put out the fire, but she is incredibly low to the water. That's the similar ship we just sunk. Uh, there's a small freighter as well. We've got this big troop transport. This one in front looks to have a front deck gun. So, what I want to do is put a shot into this one, dive, and then go and put a shot into this one. Things going well. We might be able to get these three on the deck gun. That is the plan of action. Whether or not we can do that is uh, going to be a different matter. But proof is in the pudding. Let's see if we can execute that plan. Let's uh, come down straight away. I might... Whoops. Uh, how far are we... We are, oh, we're almost there actually. We can get a shot on here. Let's go to periscope depth. Okay. There she is. Let's just see if we can't get that bang on about there. Slightly ahead. Let's drop that down a bit. Oh, come on! Why would I... Oh, because I'm in, I'm in the wrong one, that's why. And fire. Now that one... She is... She's got two... Yes, yeah, she's one of those, I think. She's a medium-class merchant. Unfortunately, this troop ship is just getting in the way now. 
I don't think I'll be able to get a shot around her. So hopefully, if we can get a strike on this troop ship in front of us, uh, then she'll slow to a crawl. And then we can... See, I don't want to have a pot shot at one of these guys, because I'm sure that other one is armed. Come on. Come on, baby. Go, my little fishy. Swim all the way home. Yes. Well, we struck her. Uh, her engines are still going. And she's not on fire. Is that other ship? I've lost sight of her because this one's in the way. Okay, here she is. You can see the damage right here. Oh yes, that's a good hit. She's still motoring along though. This one, I think, is the one with the guns on it. See the gun there? Just make it out. Um, so it's a freighter. It could well be auxiliary cruiser. It would make sense if it's got guns. Right, let's see if we can't talk like Captain, Picard, uh, Captain Kirk for some bizarre reason. Right, what I'm going to do... Um, what I might do, actually... I might put another torp into this one, quickly. This troop ship. Because she's going to be the big tonnage. And even if we just get the troop ship and go home, it's still a good day's work. about mm. I go for uh, she's oh let's just close in on there but well, she seems to be moving quite quickly so um Is it this one I was taking a pot shot at? Yeah, it was this one, wasn't it? Let's switch back targets then. We'll work our shot out for this one. Uh, we're not quite close enough. Right, we're going to have to do some manoeuvring. Okay, we've done a little bit of manoeuvring. And the convoy has definitely bunched up a whole load. So let's just see if we can't rein this back a bit. Okay, so if we go for about... It's not a great shot. Let's go. And this last torpedo... We want to try and hit the one with the deck guns. Oh, she's turning. Clever Rouge, she's turning. that one. 
to that one. It's not that one, that one's sinking. Nice, right on the rear. Hopefully that should stop her dead in the water. Cue all the searchlights, no? Okay. So we think it's this one, didn't we, which had the, the yeah, Pegasus Auxiliary Cruiser. That's the one. Right. Let's see. Oh, the troop ship sunk. Troop ship sunk. Right. We need to close in on her a little bit more. Fantastic. 57,000 tons of shipping sunk. Um, so the ship sunk. It was a, Vi a steel Viking big modern passenger ship. 8,915 tons, which just goes to show our ship identification is appalling. But if we can get this one down, because you can see the little gun there, you can see the gun there, we should be able to finish these two off with the deck gun, and that will be a job well done. Oh, look, she's going down at the stern. Right, we're going to do a bit of maneuvering and see if we can't get on the tail of this ship and see if we can't put a little fishy up her pipe as it were. So I'll see you back in a few. Welcome back everyone, we are moving in position now, um, we are pretty much, I could probably get a shot on him now, uh, if I get to medium speed, oh, do you know what, do you know what, loss, that was pretty good, maybe I rushed out a little bit too much, but that is our final fish away. Just a confirmation, no more little fishies in the tube. So come on, swim straight. Well, swim fast, swim straight. Sink that blighter, and then we can get up and finish the others with the deck gun. Where's that sinky one? No, she's so low in the water. There's actually two ships there. You might not be able to see it, but there's two. she comes the next 30 seconds or so will dictate whether or not we can finish this convoy off it doesn't look bad I think we're going to get a strike it's looking good Come on, but oh, come on, don't go too far forward. Well, we hit her. A bit too. I'd rather hit her at the rear, to be honest. Uh, we, it may be the case of we now have to stalk the convoy until this ship sinks, if she sinks. Or it could be that she slows down enough that the convoy leaves her behind, so we can leave her behind and finish off the convoy. And then if we're fancying, fe feeling a little bit daring, we may be able to come back and finish her off with a deck gun, but that's probably a little bit too extreme for my liking. She is so low in the water. She doesn't seem too bad, does she? Let's go over and have a quick look. She's got her searchlights on. She is 
That is quite a substantial hole, but as you say, she's got her engines maxed out. She doesn't seem to be too bad. Are they still manning the deck gun? Oh, oh god, she's got two deck guns, in fact, at the at the front. The crew are still on the ship. Yeah. She's got. Oh my god, she's got two waste guns, as it were. And she's got, um, oh, she's got, not only has she got a, uh, a heavy gun on the rear, she's also got two flat guns as well. She is a heavily armed, that's why you can say, well, you can tell why they call it an auxiliary cruiser. She is well armed for a freighter. So we've got a normal freighter over here. She's got the, the gun pod, but nothing in it, thankfully. And no guns on the rear. Same with this one. And then we've got the incredibly... Look how close she is to taking on water. So you can see where the red line is, where her watermark usually is. She must have been damaged by our last raid, but obviously because there's been a save and a reload, she, you can't see the hole that's caused, but yeah. It won't take too many hits to get her down with the deck gun. We just need you to sink. She seems okay. Right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to continue to stalk these guys and see what happens. So join me back in a little while to see if that ship does indeed start to sink. Welcome back everyone. So, good news. We've done a lot of uh, following of the convoy and the ship we damaged is now fallen behind the rest of the convoy. You can see her all the way back there, burning away. And she is um, quite heavily taking water on at the front, so hopefully she will uh, start to sink. But we have caught up with the, the other three ships. We've Excuse me, we've got the uh, low slung one there, we've got a ship there, and we've got a ship there. So, uh, we have been buzzed a couple of times by uh, aircraft, so... Man the flag gun. Okay, and I'd like you to man the deck gun. Man the deck gun! Just so in case we get buzzed, he's my permission to fire back. Right, let's jump on this deck gun then. Again, they're trying to shoot our conning tower. They have something, they're scared of the crack and it obviously uh, fills them with fear and intrepidation. Right, so where are these ships? Let's... So we've got one, it's on the first one. One, two, and three. Right, so they're not going to be at... 14,000 meters. They are approximately, I'd say, about two. So we go for 1,700. Too far. Let's go for a thousand. Oh, too short. Hang on. I think we just caught that one as we were on the uh, the down. So we're joking about 3,000 meters. A little bit too much, but not a million miles away. Oh, this is ridiculous. We're missing. Let's close in on them. Okay, that was a strike. It's too far up, though. There we go. Hull level and water level. That's exactly what we want. 
Right, let's try and slow them down by hitting their propulsion. I might switch to high explosives. We've got 22 rounds of high explosive left. some big holes in her. There we go. Put one in the middle as well. Okay, so she's got some damage. Let's try and take this one out. Let's try and get her propulsion as well. A bit short. Oh, we just completely missed that time. We've lit her up so we know where she is. Right, let's go and concentrate on this one, which is the low, in, the one low in the water. So we're going to reduce the. Ooh. Let's keep an eye on these three ships. Oh, 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 whoa! We've hit a boiler. That's one surefire way to take a ship out: is blow a boiler up. Wow, there's all sorts of things, chain reactions going off. Let's take the rear of the ship. Should we take the, uh, the bridge out as well? Got two high explosives left. Switching. What's that? That's nothing. Oh, do we have one more left? No, we don't. Armor piercing it is. 72 shots of armor piercing. She's on flame. She's on flame. This one's searching. Reduce the range. Too high. Perfect, right at the water boat, the water level. A bit too low that one. These will be frantically calling in the uh, the aircraft now. Explosions on board. Whoa, big explosions. Okay, she's a light. Come on, she can't take too much more punishment. And I'm very conscious of the aircraft. We were buzzed only five minutes ago. I can guarantee there's another patrol out here. This low water one seems to have quite a bit of propulsion, so let's see if we can't slow her down. She's difficult. Try 
try and take out her propellers. The problem we have, the armor-piercing shell creates a much smaller hole in the uh, in the hull. Oh, there we go. Nice. So the, those big blasts we've seen in the past, they've all been high explosives. You don't have any guns, so you can't fire back, but I suppose ramming is a real possibility. But they're just trying to keep us in their light, uh, in their sights with their searchlights on us in case the aircraft come in. Whoa, one's gone. She's gone. Thank goodness. One down. What I might just do. is fire my remaining 20 shots into these and get the heck out of here. We are really playing the risky game here. With all these aircraft around. Oh, that sounds like a good one. A lot of pressure. Shots for you, a couple of shots for you. I'm very don't say I'm not fair when I dish out my punishment. Right, that's it, we're out. Nothing more to be done. So let's uh get everything stowed away. Yes, sir. Secure the dead gun! Oh, look at the searchlights. They look pretty awesome. Right. Let's turn away and plot our. Is that, I wonder if that's that ship um, we damaged. Oh no, there it is, she's following us up. I was gonna say, is that the one we damaged and she hasn't sunk yet? No, the one with guns, she's still in the area. Right, okay, fine, let's, um, let's skedaddle out of here. And we are gonna go back. Up here, I can hear aircraft. Yep, we are, we are being under attack. Okay. No, 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 no. Right. Get the flat gun. Yes, sir. Secured. Secure the flat gun! Let's get out. Let's get down. Every time I do that, I seem to get stuck. There we go. Let's get low. Let's get under this and get away. We don't need to be... Uh... Nothing more to be done. Right, let's plot our course back okay they are depth charging us which is a first <laughs> but we're okay we're okay for the moment right we're, we're pulling away right let's just plan our escape uh, and we are going to be coming back here to refit. There we go. That is our course home. We just need to. Oh, there's a ship over here, apparently. Um, need to get out of here, and we should be okay. Right, while we're waiting, 64,000 tons, nine ships destroyed. Nice. So that was a North Sands type large freighter, 7,000 tons. Fantastic. Right, guys. While we sneak away, I'll leave it there. Thanks for joining me on the continuing adventures of U31. Um, a good day. A good day. We've uh, we've pretty much spent we've spent every piece of ammunition and uh, ordnance we have, which is. Well, I, I, we're not being wasteful. We're not going back to port with a full bomb load. That's a, that's for sure. So, uh, yeah, we need to head back now. Rearm, refit. Uh, what's the date? Let's have a quick look. So we're coming up to the end of September. 
So September the 24th. Now, if you remember, when, uh, this one has a deadline date of 15th of October. So we've got two weeks to get back, restock, and get up there, which is going to be a bit of a push, actually, in real life. I don't think it would be possible. Uh, and it probably would be. Well, not with the damage we've probably got, but we're going to persevere, get that scene to, and we're going to get ourselves back up to Scapa Flow and see if we can't finish that mission. So thanks for joining us. I hope you enjoyed this. Thoughts and comments, as always, leave in the section below, and I hope to see you next time for the further adventures of U31. I'll see you then. Thank <laughs> you.